Hello, my dear students. How are you? So today we are going to start a new chapter that is called computer network. And for your information, this topic is all theoretical and comprises of 10 marks. Uh, you know what I mean? That is in your board examination, there will be 20 marks that will be based on this topic. So without much delay, let's get started. So first thing first, we will have an introduction. Now, what is a network? Network is a collection of our computers connected with each other. The network allows computer to communicate with each other and share resources and information like social media. Why we need a social media? Because we want to connect with other people and connect uh, efficiently and without spending much time. Your message should reach to your friends within a second. So you use social media like WhatsApp, Facebook and ETC. And this information can be shared to multiple people without much effort which is a better option than the telephone or a simple post, right? If you want to post a letter, then you have to make multiple copies and dispatch to different, different agencies. But if you talk about the internet, we can pass simple information to infinite people within a seconds, right? And for that, we don't have to pay much as we do in newspapers or uh, by using television television ads right so this is a cheap media for, of communication as well now coming to the first network that was developed uh, you people may be aware of it that is called arpanet and it was developed and designed by advanced research project agency of or for united states department of defense it was the first computer network in the world and it was so made that it can survive the world war okay so coming to the next slide let's have the benefit of computer networks the first and foremost is cost effective resource sharing i will explain this with the help of an example for example we have 10 systems and now we want to install or have printing system so for this we need 10 different print printers without the network and if we take a cost of a printer let's say we can take a simple cost of 5000 so 5 multiplied by 10 that will be 50000 we have to shell out from our pocket right and the second and better option to this is simply install one printer that will cost you 5000 plus some network establishment cost that may vary depending upon your scale right so for example if you have a local network area that is confined within one kilometer so it will not take more than let's say 10,000 so your work is done in only 15,000 as compared to 50,000 so that is a if cost effectiveness right uh, let us uh, read the text here by network your business computers you can reduce the amount of money you spend on hardware by sharing components and peripheral while also reducing the amount of time you spend managing your computer systems right this is really very simple for example what let us take a one more example where we need to store huge amount of our data in a system in every system or we need us information to be stored in some place now what we can do we can use multiple hard drive hard drives in different situations systems when we do not have a network right but when we have a network we can have a big hard drive in one system and that can be shared with multiple people so that we don't have to buy a huge amount of a or a big hdd in all the systems right this will also reduce the cost this is in another example now let us further read the text Equipment sharing is extremely beneficial. When you share resources, you can buy equipment with features that you would not otherwise be able to afford as well as utilize the full potential of that equipment on your network. A properly designed network can result in both lower equipment costs. Okay, hope this point is really easy and you may have understood this. So let's move to the next slide. 
Now, the another is streamlined business process. A well-designed computer network produces benefits on several fronts within the company, between companies, and between companies and their customers. Within the company, network enables business to streamline their internal business process. Common tasks such as employee collaboration on project provisioning and holding meetings can take less time and be much less expensive. For example, a managing ed editor, associated editor, writers, and artists may need to work together on a publication. Just we do it in a Google Drive. If you want to share this document to multiple people so that they can contribute on it, it is a really easy task and without cost, I can do it uh, with the speed of a light. Now, the third one is freedom to choose the right to. A networking solution that enables data and resource sharing between different type or brands of hardware, operating system and communication protocol. An open networking environment adds another dimension to the information sharing capabilities inherent in computer networking, right? So it is related to resource sharing only. So this is additional benefit of using network, right? So let us move to the next slide. That is the fourth one is, is powerful, flexible collaboration between companies. Obviously, they can keep in touch at every moment of a time and uh, there will be less, co less cost of moving information from one place to another. Okay, so this is the gist of this fourth point. Now, the another thing is securing secure management of sensitive information. We can always have privileges like read only, hidden or we can password protect them so we can have different type of uh, variety of access so that we can safeguard our equipments so let us read the text and understand with the help of this paragraph another significant advantage of computer network is ability to protect access to network resources and files a network that is properly designed has extremely powerful security features that enables you to control how well have access to sens sensitive data, equipment, and other resources. This control can be exercised over both your own employees and those outside your company who access your system over the internet. Now, in this slide, you can see different type of networks. That is personal area network that is called PAN that is confined within a 10 meter and will be used by a single person. So this is the peculiar feature or it is its characteristic is it will be used by one person and can be confined within 10 to 100 meters, right? Such type of network is called person, personal area network. Now, second type of network is called a local area network. It is also confined within one kilometer of radius and may be used by many people. So difference between personal area and local area is that personal area network will be used by one person, local area and other networks can be used by multiple users, right? Now, and secondly, more importantly, how you will dif uh, uh, differentiate between local area and uh, campus area network, that is local area network will be confined within the one kilometer of the range and come campus area network within the simple uh, campus but this is not in your syllabus right now okay the next and important is metropolitan area network which is confined within a city and normally it is uh, within more than one kilometer to 100 kilometer so if your network is spread over a city and is within 100 meters plus minus 10 20 kilometers that doesn't matter then it is said to be a metropolitan area network now the third type of network is wide area network or a van it is confined or it is spread all over a means very dispersed geographical reasons more than 100 kilometers or can be used to join multiple cities so such kind of a network is called wide area network and the last one is global area network or GAN that is uh, internet, right? And network 
इंटेल में एंड द इंटर नेटवर्क इज अन वी हैव टू और मल्टी टू और मोर देन टू नेटवर्क कनेक्टेड टूगेदर राइट सो According to the CBC syllabus, we have personal area network, local area network, metropolitan area network, and WAN that is called wide area network. And how do you identify these? In coming slides, I'm going to describe them in uh, greater detail. Detail. So let's do that. So first is LAN or a local area network, and it is a network. or computer network that spans a relatively small area most lan are confined to a single building or a group of a buildings however one lan can be connected to other lans over any distance via telephone line and radio waves there are many different type of a lans with ethernet being the most common for pc most apple macintosh networks are based on apple apple talk network system which is built into macintosh computers right so you can leave the second paragraph you have to focus on the first one and most important you have to um understand the range that is within the 1 km most of the cases okay so let us read the next now you can see it's a ethernet cable it can be your simple this can you can you can see this is a bus topology where we have a simple backbone and all the computers are connected with the um, backbone with the help of a single cable every computer in this network or in a network is called a node or interspace okay or a client now next wide area network a wide area network is a network that covers a broad area within a it more than 100 kilometers you can say that and generally it connects two or more cities a network that covers a broad area any telecommunication network that link across a metropolitan regions or national boundaries even different continents continents then it is said to be a wide area network using private or a public network tra transport business and government entities utilize vans to relay data among employees client buyers and suppliers from various geographical locations in essence this mode of a telecommunication allows a business to effectively carry out its daily function regardless of location the internet can be considered as uh, a van as well as, as well and is used by business governments organization and individual for most any purpose or imaginable okay so you can see we have different type of a lan and we have different other network which is connected with a wire now man it is confined within a city is a computer network in which two or more computers are communicating device or network which are geographically separated but in same metropolitan cities and are connected to each other are said to be connected on man or said to be connected on man the limit of metropolitan cities are determined by local municipal corporation and we cannot define define them hence the bigger the metropolitan city the bigger the man similar a metro city smaller than man most of the cases in our examination we consider a yeah, 100 km range okay up to 100 you can say more than one and up to 100 okay now let us see what's next it's a simple diagram you can see uh, we can have uh, actually this is not a man okay what is this i have already discussed about the pen which will be used by a bus person and for a person personal purpose uh, like you to you use a bluetooth or infrared your mobile device can be connected to your laptop and laptop can be converted connected to your wireless printer right such type of network which is used by a person that is called a pan and generally its range is uh, from 1 meter to 10 meter let's say okay 
or maybe more but it will be used by one person only so you can see we have different devices you can see we have a headphone wireless headphone or wired headphone mouse computer many things are there okay that's fine now this is the end of this today's agenda point uh, so bye bye for now and have a nice day